Hey everybody, Steven here, and today I'm doing an unboxing video for the Baltoon BH021s here. So the company reached out to me, asked if they could send these to me, I said of course. And the reason I really agreed to this particular product is because one of my favorite wireless earbuds has been the BH020s here from Baltoon. They have a phenomenal battery life, the quality of the sound is really really good, it has a rich bass to it and the fit is really good as well. So overall, this has been my favorite wireless earbud to date. And so with this one, it does have a stem on it. That's gonna be the biggest difference between the two. This one is actually just an earbud that fits directly in the ear. And with that, it's going to be the kind of touchless sensors that are gonna be the controls for this, where one of the big draws for the 020 was the fact that it had a physical button versus the sensors. So I actually haven't tried out a pair of earbuds like this in years. So I'm really excited to get into this here. So let's open this up and we will get this thing paired up really quick and give a sound test and then I'm going to take it out I'm going to go for a bike ride and then just kind of give my initial impressions with this so like all the other ones you're going to get your user manual here quick start guide you also end up getting a USB type C cable and then you have your small and large ear fittings if you don't like the ones that are on there typically you're going to find the medium ones on there and i do like the fact that they use usb type c with this or thunderbolt so here it is let me get that unpackaged there it is and actually so we have the port on the side here it's not in the back which is typically with these other ones you're going to find it on the back but this case also with these is going to be bigger because this is a bigger product. So let's open this up. And there they are. And as soon as you open it up, you're going to hear it. It's, it's trying to pair right now. We have little lights right there as well, just kind of signaling that it's trying to pair. So let's go ahead and get this set up. And so far with these, it's been really, really easy to do. You just pop open your Bluetooth here and then it should ask to connect with these. I'm gonna close this just to see if it pops up with this one. And yeah, those are, that is different, that is small. This would be the right ear here, and there it is. Click on it. And we are set up. All right, let's pop this one in. And then I'm gonna try some music. Now one of the big things with this is just the way it fits in the ear. Um, because of that, it's inherently noise canceling. So in some situations you may have to just leave one in, but these have worked very, very well with being independent where you can just pull one out um, with all the products. Because I actually have the BH024s also that my wife got for Mother's Day, I, I gave that to her and I've used that one a little bit and they work just really, really well. Let's try this. And I'm going to pop open this. Make sure that fitting is good. There we go. There we go. So you ha you're gonna have to put these in a, in a very specific way in your ear. And then with the touch controls, this lays that out for you. Left, down with sound, right, up with sound, double tap, triple tap, calls, and then Siri. All right, let me turn the volume all the way up on this. And it's gonna get, it's gonna get really, really loud. And like I said with this, I'm gonna pop this one out, keep this music going. Because of, and it should have the magnets, yep, pulls right in there. Because of the fit in the ear, and the way they just are positioned, like I said, it's inherently noise canceling, so with these, 
certain situations like I've had these in and my son comes and starts talking to me and I, I just can't hear him um, so something to keep in mind uh, but when I'm on my bike rides like these things work so well um, but I also find that I end up just leaving one in just in case I need to hear like a, a car is honking at me or somebody's saying that they're gonna pass on the side if I'm on a trail or something like that the sound quality just like the other ones really really good it has a good bass to it it gets really really loud the touch controls with this I think are going to be easy I'm getting better and better at them I still like the physical button but I'm getting better at the touch controls because my concern and it really was with the black pods where it had an opening that was that was a sensor if I went to do anything like readjust it it was skipping a song or stopping a song this one because of the it being a little bit thicker, I just grabbed the outer portion of it, and it should be good. There we go. So, um, I'm sure there's going to be moments where I'm still accidentally touching that, but it'll be fine. So, with this now, um, let's just kind of cover quickly some of the specifications with this. You're looking at Bluetooth 5.0, that's pretty standard across all their products. IPX8, which these also have the IPX8. I like that because if you're gonna be doing something outside where I'm gonna be riding a bike, it's hot, it's the summer, I'm gonna be sweating a lot on this, I'm gonna take these to the gym, it's not gonna be an issue with that. You get six hours of play time with the um, earbud and then you'll actually get an additional 30 out of this. Uh, their battery life across all of these products, like these have 40, um, and I can't remember what the 024s have, but they're all really, really good. You're looking at 30 plus hours, 30 to 40 hours with most of these. And they may have one that's even a little bit higher with that. Um, but the battery isn't going to be an issue with this. And you can actually do a quick charge on this where if you plug it in for 20 minutes, you'll get two hours out of this thing. Because I always think like it just happens that the battery is draining and you weren't paying attention, but now you're going to the gym and you're gonna need them for the hour. Like on the car right there, it'll charge enough that you can make it through your workout. So I do like that they have that with this as well. So the specifications on this are really, really good, but now I need to actually take this on the bike ride and I'm gonna listen to music. And the way I typically do that is I'll listen to both. I'll take one out, listen to that for a minute, and then I'll put them both in. And then I like to listen to some type of other multimedia podcast, a YouTube video, just to really look at the quality of voices um, with this as well and then I'm gonna come back we'll talk a little bit more about the specifications and then we'll kind of wrap this video up so let's go ahead and cut ahead all right so I just got back from the bike ride it went really really well I did both earbuds in listened to some music and then I took one out listened to the music a little bit more and then actually switched over to a podcast um, getting used to the touch controls one of the things and I haven't really pointed it out with the other ones but it's something that needs to be mentioned if I take one earbud out the notion of using the touch controls or even if they are a physical button like the BH020s that kind of gets tweaked a little bit because I don't have the other one to rely on so I can't go back or turn the volume down because usually I pull out the left one so I did kind of register that with this it's like oh I can only turn the volume up at this point so riding the bike I'd like to at least have one out potentially if I'm riding around the neighborhood because I want to hear cars if they're coming so that is something that I like to consider with this and overall the sound quality was really really good um, you can't mess with the equalizer on these or any of the other wireless earbuds that I found but in terms of what they have built into this it actually sounds really really good it has a good base to it so it's not just flat and that's one of the things that if you're buying any wireless earbud you want to make sure that it has a good sound to it and these do for sure the ride itself in terms of this holding into my ear was something that i was a little bit nervous about but i didn't actually have a problem with it you do have to make sure that these fit in the specific orientation that they're supposed to be and you'll know because when it fits snug in your ear canal it blocks any other kind of ambient noise outside of that. So while I was riding with one, it kind of is like this ear is muffled, like my hand's covering it. So you really are just listening to whatever's on that side, but beyond that, I'm not gonna hear much else on the other end of that unless it's incredibly loud. Thus, 
I ride with the one in so I can hear cars if they're coming or anything like that. But if the fit isn't right, you'll feel that because one, it's not going to close off that sound, but two, it feels like it's going to fall out. So if that is an issue, you need to obviously make sure that it's in the ear right, or you need to actually potentially change the earbud itself and move to one of the different sizes that come with this. So sound was good, fit was really, really good. Um, and on my ride, I'm hitting bumps and going over hills and all of that in the neighborhood. So that wasn't an issue where even when it was snug, it felt like at any point I was gonna lose it. Uh, the other thing is it's comfortable enough. It does feel like I could wear these for a couple hours without my ear aching. And I've had some where you leave them in there and 30 minutes in my ears start to hurt and I don't like that. So fit was good as well with these. The big thing with this though is the price point. Balltune has really good prices for their products and the quality that you're getting with that too is phenomenal. These are $38.99, normally they're $59.99, but uh, even right now you can save an extra 10% off when you apply this coupon. And uh, that's usually something that you find with all of them. Um, the BH020s here are, are normally $59.99, but um, I had a like 20% off coupon, I believe, with those. So typically you're never paying the, the full list price with these. And at $39 plus an additional 10% off, I mean, let's just round that to 35. Um, this is a solid product. It's really, really good. Now the question kind of boils down to, do you want the stem on it or do you want it so it just is literally fitting in the ear? Do you want something that has a physical button to it or are you cool with the touch controls? And they have more products beyond this as well. Um, the 024s look different and they have touch controls, but they still have the stem. So in terms of all of them, I mentioned they all have Bluetooth 5.0. Battery life is pretty comparable, 30 to 40 hours typically. Um, with that, uh, the difference then being, do you want touch controls or a physical button? Um, they're all gonna run with that IPX8 on this. So you don't have to worry about that. They all have a good deep bass to them, at least the ones that I've tried, and they all get incredibly loud as well. I think of, and I've mentioned this in other videos, the kind of airplane tests, although people aren't really riding on airplanes right now, but if I'm on an airplane, there's so much ambient noise from the plane itself. Could I put these in, kind of shut off the sound around me and not hear that low hum the whole time? Or could I hear what I'm actually trying to listen to? Because I've had some, especially if they just give you the earbuds on the plane, where you're trying to listen to your music and really it's drowned out by everybody around you and then the, the noise from the plane itself. So this, you won't have an issue with that at all. So. I really, really like this. My initial impression is really, really good, but I wanna spend more time with this as well, make sure that it's a solid product, and then I'll do a review. But with all this being said, they sent me two, so I wanna do a giveaway with this. So I'm gonna put a link for the Discord, my Discord server, where if you guys go there, um, I'll probably give it a couple weeks, let's say like two weeks, and then I'm gonna have it set up where there's gonna be a drawing for it and I'm gonna ship these to you for free, whoever. And the cool thing is, is it's essentially an application within that that does the drawing itself. So it's not me personally picking somebody. This thing is actually going to just randomly choose a person. So I'll actually have that set up, but you have to make sure that you're on the Discord in order to enter to win this thing. So here's the other one right here. So that is a possibility for everybody but uh, make sure you, you sign up for that. I'll have all of the links. If you don't even wanna mess with that and you're like, I just wanna buy it, I'm gonna put a link for this in the description so you can actually pick that up as well. Or in, I'll put some of their other products and I'll put links for the other videos that I've done for these as well. And then hopefully here in a couple weeks, I'll have a review for these. But like I said, my initial impression is really, really good. So that is gonna be it for this video. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.